Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Sierra. I'm a married mom of two small boys, and I own an indoor playroom here in St. Louis. I also create content full time on TikTok and on YouTube. So I thought I would bring you guys along and show you kind of what my day to day looks like. Now, today is going to be a super slow day here at the playroom. I think we have like one session with like a handful of kids. It is 70 and beautiful, and it is supposed to be raining the rest of the week. So that means today will be dead, but I still have so much to do. I've got a bunch of TikToks that need to be made. I need to organize my fidgets because they are getting insane. And I have a couple of sponsored posts that need to be taken care of as well. So I thought I would just bring you guys along and show you the process of what it looks like for me. So today we'll be vlogging. Hopefully this will be up tomorrow. And we're gonna be doing a little bit of work on the video for Friday and Guess that's it guys. Let's just jump into the video and get the day going. One thing I'm really bad about is I tend not to clean up from filming the night before. So I come into work a little bit early to kind of clean up my mess. If I were to just clean up my mess, I wouldn't have to come in early to do this. But I, I don't think things through, I guess. So we're going to get the playroom cleaned up. I wanna film one or two TikToks before the first session comes because a lot of them are timed. So they have to be like an hour apart and I like to film them when I'm in the playroom. So I gotta get those done pretty early. I get paid on TikTok a couple different ways. The creator fund, I use apps and websites to pay me to use sounds and then I have sponsorships. We'll get this cleaned up and then we will get straight into filming our first TikTok. So I'm not sure if you can see, but I just put my phone up here and I'm going to open up the website. Don't look at my password. And you just go to your deadline. I've accepted one for today. And this one should be pretty easy. I already figured out the concept I wanted to do for it. So I just have to get it filmed now. So we're just gonna use the sound. Oh, you guys. <laughs> Sorry, this footage is a little bit darker and grainier than normal. I am testing out a couple of vlogging cameras right now, but I make most of my TikToks in the TikTok app and edit them from there as well. It only took about four or five minutes for me to film this specific TikTok, and it was a paid one. I think it turned out pretty cute. And if you guys want to check it out, make sure you are following me on TikTok. Okay, the TikTok is done. It is posted and I submitted it. So we are all good there. Normally during the sessions, I can like edit. So I will be editing this vlog that we are watching right now during the first session. I like to edit as I go. So it kind of keeps the workload a little bit more manageable for me. If you guys do follow me on TikTok, I did hurt my wrist somehow. And I don't know if you can see, but I've got this like big bump right here and it is quite painful. I was having it wrapped because um, keeping it like stabilized was helping, but then the wrap started like irritating the rest of my wrist. So I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow and hopefully we can get that figured out because it definitely hurts, but it is 8.54, first session starts at nine and I have not had any coffee yet. So that is going to be the next thing on the list. We're gonna use this little guy right here, my like favorite mug, and we're going to caffeinate. So I'm going to let this session go and I will see you guys when we are cleaning up after the kids get done playing. The first and only group for today just left and I'm gonna take you guys around and show you a little bit of the mess. This actually isn't bad because like I said, it was just a couple of kids. Um, but I'm gonna show you what a, couple of <laughs> what a couple of kids can do in an hour and a half. We have a, another coat to add to the coats that have been left. And for some reason, the babies always end up on the ground. This is one of their favorite hiding spots. I 
think everything else is empty. Yeah, that's really it. This will not take me too long to clean. Can you guys see that? <laughs> and there's stuff up here too. This will probably only take me like 20 minutes to clean. I'll get it all sprayed. And then we're gonna work on organizing my fidgets because like I said, they are a mess. Every single drawer is just like a hodgepodge. But also while that session was going on, I tested out this new toy for a TikTok. It's kind of like a Dance Dance Revolution type of situation, but you can hook up your Bluetooth to it so it can be the music that like you listen to. So this is really cute. I cannot wait to show the boys. That was sent to me by Kids Lane. Thank you, Kids Lane. I love your toys so much. But I'm stalling now, so let's get this cleaned up. All of the drawers are emptied and I've kind of laid everything out into categories. These are all of my stress balls in various shapes and forms. Oh God, that really hurts. Let's switch hands. And these are my water snakes and my water timer. I have wacky tracks, tangles, snakes, all of my poppets monkey noodles, pop tubes, other types of monkey noodles, ramen. These are all of my fidgets that are like puzzles and games. Those are like hand exercise fidgets. Up here we have all of our small fidgets that fit like in your palm of your hand. Got the snapper, magnet rings. I don't know if this was like a small fidget. I guess we'll put this with the poppets. My wooden fidgets and then kind of some miscellaneous stuff and all of my mochis. I have fidgets like ordered pretty much at all times for videos. This is a box that I got from Funky Fidget Shops because I'm gonna be doing a YouTube video where I test out fidgets from the UK. So if you are one of my UK followers, I see you, video is coming soon. So this is always rotating. I constantly give fidgets to people. There was a birthday party for a 10 year old here the other day. Hey Kate. And I gave her a whole bunch of fidgets for her birthday. So they're constantly being given away, given to children, um, repurposed um, as soon as they pop. I cut them open for TikTok videos. So I share these with all of the kids that come into the playroom. I also collect them. So that's why I have so many. But um, now we're just gonna put them in the drawers and hopefully we can make this a little bit more organized. I think we can all tell what my favorite fidget is. It's definitely the stress ball. We are almost to the point where I need to do an updated fidget tour because I have a lot more than the first time I posted that video. So let's get to organizing. While I am organizing these, I also wanna mention that these are not all of my fidgets. These are just the fidgets that stay behind my desk uh, because they're not really for younger kids or I wanna keep them a little bit more supervised. Um, Cause like I said, I do collect them and use them for videos. So I have to make sure that I pretty much have one of everything at all times. So the kids just ask permission, they come over, they get their fidgets. But I have a ton more out on the floor, pop tubes, pop its, uh, dimples, all of my dimples are out there. So there's still a lot more on the floor. This is just like my bigger kids slash new stuff or stuff that I'm filming with soon. So this is not even all, the whole collection. Every drawer is now organized. I never know the best way to organize everything, so I just do what makes sense to me. But pretty soon, we're going to need a second set of drawers. Okay guys, today's gonna be a short day here at the Playroom. Like I said, it is beautiful outside, so we only had one session. I needed to get a couple of TikToks done, which I showed you at the beginning of the video. And now I pretty much just need to clean up and I am going to be heading to Target to film another fidget hunting video, which will be Friday's video. So make sure you are subscribed so you can see that and get that notification when it goes live. 
Normally it's around 3.30 central time, but I think we're just gonna end the vlog here today. We got a lot done. I am very happy with our progress. And if you guys liked seeing this kind of behind the scenes of grandma's playroom, let me know. I would love to do more vlogs for you guys. And if you guys liked this video, I would like it if you gave it a thumbs up. And if you loved it, I would love it if you would subscribe. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and don't forget, wash your hands. Bye guys.